I have this love-hate relationship with theology. The reason I love it is pretty simple. It's about God. It means you're using your mental resources to try and understand God a little bit more. A spiritual, intellectual type of experience. And what's not to love about that? The hate part is a bit more complicated. But it goes something like this. I believe God is this grand mystery. Every day we come to understand Him more and more, but we can never come to the point where we can say, I know everything about God. Knowing God is an eternal journey. God is like a room without walls, or a roof, or a floor, yet still a room. Theology sometimes tries to construct a roof, walls, and a floor. It tries to contain God. Ever since high school, I've found chemistry fascinating. The fact that everything around me is made out of compounds of elements, elements made out of single atoms, I find it extremely enchanting that atoms look kind of like tiny solar system. A nuclear sun made out of protons and neutrons, electrons flying around like little planets around the sun. I find it overwhelmingly profound that everything around me is made out of zillions and billions of atoms. But what literally blows my mind is the fact that no one has seen an atom. No one has actually seen an individual atom. But we know they're there because we can sense them. Yeah, in fact, scientists use extremely sensitive equipment and they detect the charges that these particles give off. And based on these detections, they create models of what they think an atom must look like if they could see them. And every few years, a new model is created outdating the old one. In fact, the newest, most state-of-the-art models are so complicated and intricate and look nothing like the solar system model. But for the common layman, for me, the solar system model still helps me envision the invisible atoms. Even though it's just a model, it fascinates me. But with theology, sometimes we think that we can sit down and write the last creed or treatise and excommunicate anyone who dares to think otherwise. We think that if we use enough Greek or Hebrew lexicons and a strong concordance, we can write the last book on God. And then we start defending our soteriology and eschatology as if it were God himself. Acting like if God didn't create the world in six consecutive 24-hour periods 6,000 years ago, then he must be dead. As if the existence of God somehow depended on the accuracy of our models. Isn't that a foolish notion? I think it is. But if we can stop using it to construct walls around God, theology can become something beautiful. It can become something like modern chemistry, giving us models of what God could look like and act like. It could inspire us but forever reminding us that no one has seen God. It could also become something that I don't hate and only love. And maybe I'll be able to talk about why I love.